Hey everybody, it's Austin here. So on today's little uh, project, I'm gonna be doing um, a little vibrating saw. It's called the oscillating tool. It's made by DeWalt. Um, it helps me get really close to the edge of the side of the boat so I can take off the little, uh, little shelving here. Um, this spot right here, I couldn't get close enough with the Sawzall, um, but I finally saved up enough money to get that uh, oscillating tool. And I tried it out a little bit and it freaking works awesome. All right, so I was cutting them back next to the transom and I started to see water coming out and I my heart just sank. So I'll show you guys a little bit what I just found. Um, I think the uh, there's a hole in the back from underneath the shelf was and the water was sitting in there and it got built up and I think that water got behind the fiberglass and it's in the transom now, so. Not one of those wanting, but uh, I will see how it looks when I cut it out. So, so you guys, you can see there's some water right here, and from what it looks like is that right here, somebody did a repair for the shelf because this isn't factory, and they left an open hole for water and other stuff to get into. So. Um, it's been sitting outside, so I'm not really surprised, but I'm kind of surprised that somebody would think to fiberglass and leave a big old gaping hole, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to cut through here all the way down to the bottom and see if there's water that's coming out. The uh, majority of the water that's coming out right now is just going down and finding my saw cuts and just running down there, so... Let's get this cut out and see how much water damage is there.
Well, I've been working on this uh, today, cutting the side of the floor out to remove the starboard side flooring. Um, a few days ago, I found the rotten stringers through here. You can see it's all deteriorated. Um, I'm gonna cut all the way up to the front here and probably stop at this fresh water drain for where the sink used to be. Um, I'm just gonna cut it all the way up there, cut across, and then down the sides and remove this floor. Um, I'm pretty sure that the stringer is gonna be bad. It's, it's not a big deal, it's just time consuming, but it's all part of this project. It's like you buy a, a boat for a thousand bucks, so it's kind of hard to complain about that when you can go out and buy a brand new 26 foot boat for over $200,000, depending on the boat. So I don't have that money. <laughs> just a quick little recap of before I start to cut away this floor. This right here is where I used to drop down because I used to have a fuel tank all the way through here. And then there used to be like a half inch or five eighths plywood that goes across right through here. And that used to be kind of like this, the drop down. And then this used to be carpet down in here, um, but that's all removed. But it was so rotten that you could literally kick it off. The floor was so spongy all the way through here. But uh, this getting wet, kind of migrated up the side here you can see right here it's it's pretty shot so like it's it's really wet so that's for sure coming out it's probably gonna end up cutting down the sides and then probably finding a bulkhead and then uh phasing it in so um we'll see how it looks though i'm not gonna keep my hopes up but it would be nice if everything was better than i expect so So cut all the way down the side, this fitting. Now I'm just gonna draw a line straight across and either stop at the top, tear up the board, and then see how rotten it is down the side. But uh see how this looks and then how it moved on over to the other parts of the boat. So So what I'm just going to be doing here 
is I start a little bit, let's put the pry bar in here, and just lift up, try to get this floor up. Started prying right here, and you can see how it turns from light, good wood, to dark. Um, it's rock wood, so as you can see, not a good sign. Alrighty, so I got the fiberglass up from the floor. It pretty much came right up because it wasn't really attached at all because it's so rotten. This is the uh, inside of the cab. Because just remember, like right here, that door came down through here. So this water got in the inside. So I think it got in from either this hole right here from where they radar was mounted at one time and then they pulled it off but they didn't cap it and they left the wires going through horrible idea and they left the radar just hanging and then that side is where the rain would come in so and then the boat had a little bit of a slant downhill and on the trailer as you can see it leans to the starboard side a little bit so if any wire gets in it's gonna go straight down congregate right through here and you got this little shelf right here so it, it's, it's bound to happen but i just want to show you guys a quick little thing that they do for this foam is that they lay the plywood down cut these hole saws through here and they fill it with foam and it allows the foam to expand come up to the floor and then when it's done they they uh make it flush with the plywood and then they come in there fiberglass the top it doesn't even look like the resin was even attached. Like they didn't get enough good enough bond to the floor. But I'm not no boat builder, so let's get this plywood up here. Um, I left that little relief cut so you guys can see the plywood, how rotten it is. Because I started to pry on, I could tell how rotten it was. So I kind of didn't want to get underneath the plywood. I wanted to get underneath the fiberglass. But uh, it, was, it was expected. There's water sitting here. Um, but what I'm thinking is that this is going to go all the way up here, so where all the tools are stored. So this side's definitely going to be ripped all the way up to the, at least the steering, probably up to the bunk area, to the, where the, the wall's at.
got the floor up, um, started working on removing some of the foam. Uh, the foam looked pretty good, and as you started getting down lower, uh, it looked pr like brand new. So, but the the foam protects it, so it's kind of expected. But um, I've been piecing away at it. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of sneak peek here. It's a lot of it's a lot of foam, but that's part of the job. So, if you look down in here, here's a hole. Um, it looks really good. All the glass is intact. Um, I removed a couple of the bulkheads through here because they're just bracings, but, uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to continue up, give you guys a little bit of a, a show, removing the foam, and then I'll probably just take care of the, the foam just a little bit more up, uh, off camera. So. There's the pile of foam here that came out of the starboard side. That's only about five feet, so it's quite a bit of foam. It's gonna be quite a bit of garbage, but uh, it's all part of restoring a boat, so I'd rather uh, see a boat come back to life and have a little bit of garbage left over than just buy a new one and let things rot in the ground, so. But it's, it's all part of the challenge, and um, I'm enjoying the restoration so far. And uh, I want to thank you guys for supporting this channel. I want to thank you to my friends and families for supporting me and all the people that were doubting me because that kind of pushes me also. But uh, I want to give a huge shout out to um, my sister because she's been watching my boys on the days that I can work on this boat since my wife and I, we kind of have opposite shifts. Since I work night shifts, she works days. Um, but I want to thank them. Also my mom, also the people that I send my videos to, like friends and family and then they share it with their friends so but main majority of the people i need to thank is you guys for watching these channels and these videos but uh it's, it's a pretty cool experience and i'm really enjoying it so uh stay tuned and let's get this full ripped out thanks
here is the end result for starboard side. You can see right here on the last section I removed, there's a little bit of rot right there. But this whole thing is going to have to get replaced anyways. God, it looks like some true 2x12 or forgot what they use for these stringers, but it's definitely, definitely strong. So I got the floor removed all the way up to the helm. Um, it's going to be a big project since the stringers are rotten all the way up. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to replace all the stringers, but it is what it is. If I have to replace them all, that's great. If not, that's great too. But um, I'm kind of expecting it. So if they're rotten, I'm not going to get mad about it because it's a thousand dollar boat and you can't get mad about a thousand dollar boat. But um, stay positive and uh, just keep tearing away. And eventually you're going to get down to bare bones and then start rebuilding it. So um, there's been some comments on what the tools I've been using on the project. Uh, if you guys have any questions on that, uh, links down below. Um, and then if you guys have any other questions, it's been brought up before on expenses of it so far. Um, it hasn't been too expensive, but I'm going to be addressing more of that probably every three or four months on the project. But if you guys are looking forward to that, I'm going to be throwing some more details in there. Um, I read every one of your guys' comments. So if you guys have questions, I'll address it. I'll reply back or I can address it in a uh, next video because there's a lot of people replying. I'll, I'll probably just do a, a broad standards for everybody. So uh, it's probably going to be it for this video since it's getting pretty up there on the, on the time. But uh, I just removed the floor and on the starboard side and then inspected some of the stringers but i don't think it's going to be as bad as i'm 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 thinking but uh you never know with boats so yeah so so uh stay tuned if you guys can like and subscribe that'd be great you guys are supporting this channel and help me out and uh it's it's really pushing me to put out some more content get faster on videos get better on editing every one of your guys comments is pushing me to do better um every single thing you guys put on there i'm reading so Please give me some advice if you guys would like to see or see less of things. That'd be great. Um, but uh, I'll probably just catch you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.